Unanimous feelings of grief, sadness, and disbelief at the Quincy City Council, which honored a longtime public servant. State Representative Randy Fries was just one of many people who worked closely with Ernst throughout the years, but his most important title was friend. You can't, I get, won't just say Tom was a friend of mine. Tom was a very good friend of mine. We've come to spend a lot of time together over the course of the past five, six years, uh, especially. Uh, politics kind of brought us together at first. Second Ward Alderman Jeff Bergman also has spent the past 48 hours in disbelief. Tom as an alderman was dynamite because he had a passion to help his neighbors in the third ward. Um, and ultimately that's what all of our responsibility is at the end of the day as an alderman is to help our neighbors with questions, problems, concerns. Former Quincy Alderman Paul Havermail no longer serves on the Quincy City Council, but he didn't think twice about turning out for Monday night's meeting. We could disagree, uh, but we certainly would talk about things and, and come to a conclusion that we thought was was uh, good for the ward and good for the city. But, um, you know, Tom was just a really good man and, and uh, I, I cherish the time we did have together. His last wishes would be for his kids. He wants his kids to be okay. And he cherished this town very well. Thank you. Uh, the gates of heaven opened up for Tom. But there's another person who meant a lot to Ernst, his wife, who passed away 17 years ago. And if Tom is asked to play golf in heaven, he would probably say, I got, a, I got a, my wife to visit. Well, he's uh, reunited with, uh, with someone he wanted to be reunited with. And uh, I just, uh, I think he would want us to go on. Tom, save a place for me. I want to see you again someday, buddy. O'Donnell Cookson Life Celebration Home is handling the arrangements. In studio, Raja Maples, KHQA News.